I'll well, step out my door. It's a sea of chemicals. As far as you can see, nothing but chemicals. A total whiteout. It's warm today. It's really getting, the temperatures are starting to get up there. And it just, you just turn it into a total ocean. A sea of whiteout or chemicals. Frequencies are horrible. That's what all this shit's for, is frequencies. That's over there, it's harp over there. It's to see if psychotic shit to poison us. Never stops. Never stops. Mind control land. Torture land. Most of this is for harp over there. Blast their frequencies. All over the United States, especially in New York and the East Coast. Never stops, people. Never stops. The poison never stops. The frequencies never stop. <laughs> Especially with our uh, 5G antennas installed right outside our apartment now. And we're going to get out of Dodge. All I can do is film it, people. You can see the streaks. You can tell these are not real clouds. <laughs> not by a long shot. Of course, most of the morons, they accept their poison as clouds. over towards Brookhaven over there. That's what it's going to be like all summer long. Every day. We get a little warm temperature. They can't hide it in a storm. And they just do it like this.
is uh, my home folks. Frequencies blast in my ear. <laughs> Yeah, this is how they're delivering their chemtrails and mind control now. All very proper like, very, very cloudish, cloudish like. <laughs> but still very chemical and poisonous like. This is the face of chemtrails now. Still just as poisonous, if not even more, because they can, they could just dump a big cloud on you instead of uh, trailing you. They just dump a nice big old cloud right on you, nice old chem chem cloud on you. This is the face of poison now, folks. It's the face of mind control. It's all about mind control. Mind control in every one of us. And you don't give a fuck. You could give a fuck. Just go about your little daily business, your shopping, your living, your recreating. This is boat country here in Long Island. Everybody's out in their boats today. It's a nice warm day. They don't care if they're being poisoned. They could care less. I care. <laughs> because they use their shit against me. That's how I came to be so knowledgeable. Nobody cares, they just go about their business. <coughs> Kind of a good spot on top of the hill here. You can you can see off into the towards New York City. This is out east. Never stops. Just a day of poison everywhere. It never ends. Every day is like this, folks. Every day. It's usually much worse. When we get the storms, the frequencies are un freaking godly. I'm over here in Kings Park today, trying to get away from my town. The 5G. I don't know if this town has been wired yet. We'll, we'll have to see. Check it out. I don't think it's as bad as my town. <laughs> they got my whole neighborhood wired. Everywhere I go, and you look at these cell, these water towers. We got one over there. You look at your water towers. Nothing but cell phones. That's your 4G over there. They always put them on the highest place in town. It's surrounded by cell phone towers. Wait till they wait till they get the 5G up there. It's fucking unbelievable here in New York. I, I know I I know I will never stay here forever. 
that that much is a fact. It's uh, it's been turned into a prison, a prison world here with all this technology. But uh, but I'm gonna be here because what they're doing here will affect everything everywhere else, and and it'll be rolled out. Maybe not to the degree that it's being rolled out here in New York, but it will be rolled out everywhere. So if we don't stop it here, forget it. It's going to be everywhere. So I'm actually looking at Canada now. Uh, Nova Scotia, maybe. <laughs> Anywhere but the uh, great old United States. I get these uh, emails. Uh, or these things, these posts. Facebook is nothing but a Nazi uh, mind control CIA program to mind control you, put posts all over you, everywhere you visit, to uh, mind control you and meld you, and mold you, and shape you into their little Nazis that they want, flag waving Nazis. And, uh, I get all these posts. Uh, if you don't, if you don't love America, leave it. If you don't like America, get out. <laughs> Trust me. If I had the money, I'd be gone. I would be gone in a heartbeat, in a flash. But maybe, maybe God doesn't want me to leave right now. I got a job to do, <clears throat> and uh, so I got to do it. I could go live up in the mountains. They don't have, the shit is not nearly as insane as it is here. But it's, the mind control is everywhere. You can't escape it. It gets up into the air, into our, we breathe it, it implants us in our lungs, in our brains, our tissues, replicates in our body, and we're implanted probably for life. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know uh, if, we, if we're ever going to be able to get this shit out of our bodies. Only time will tell, but certainly won't get it out if it's we're getting bombed every frickin' day. You see them laying more up there. One streak at a time, like I said, onesies and twosies. That's the way they do it now. And uh, But it's everywhere, folks. There's no escaping this. It's everywhere. It's all over the world, really. I do think there's some safe, safe countries that are not allowing it. Uh, when I find one, I'll let you know. <laughs> I hear uh, Mexico doesn't have anything like this, nearly as bad as this. Insanity going on. Good old America. Nazi land America. Look at it, it's just all over there. It's everywhere. All skies. It's just one toxic chemical shithole. I've been filming this stuff for years, folks. I got enough video to make uh, make a lifetime of movies. Maybe when I when I get old and I got nothing else to do, I'll sit down and I'll I'll make them all. There goes our sirens. I get those right on cue. <laughs> They're mind controlling all our first responders. It's just a way to harass you. They mind control our first responders, our firemen, our police. Police show up on cue, firemen show up on cue, ambulances show up on cue. It's all part of their harassment program. They don't like me filming them. I don't care. Yeah. Threaten to push you away. <laughs> Everywhere you look uh, on your Facebook uh, post about being crazy, it's, this, is how the, this is how the CIA operates, people. This is how our corrupt intelligence agencies operate, who are now privately owned. 90% of all our intelligence agencies are now outsourced to private neocon, Nazi Israel, offshore corporations. We don't have any accountability. That's how this shit happens, folks. We have no per no real government uh, controlled uh, intelligence agencies anymore. It's all privatized. It's all about money, 
They poison the world for, for a buck. They poison America. These Nazi, Nazi Jew bastards. These neocons that uh, now control everything. The Rumsfelds, the, all these bastards that did 9-11, they're still running the show, folks. We, they put, oh, they put uh, Trump, they put Trump in there. I think he uh, just mysteriously, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Jew from New York, just mysteriously got in here? I don't think so. These two neocons are terrorizing the world with this technology. It's been their goal to mind control the world for eons. And they're finally doing it. And they're definitely doing it to us here in America. It never, never ends. The spray never stops. Never, never, never stops. It is. The whole sky is full of nothing but chemicals, chemtrails. They try to disguise them as clouds, but <laughs> there ain't no disguise in this shit. It's poison. Every minute, every hour, every day, we are poisoned here on Long Island. Well, it's got to be slow kill. I don't know. I don't know how we. I don't know how we can live as live with this shit. As much as we do, I, I just I'm surprised people aren't dropping dead in the street. I, I know my brain has probably got so much of this fucking shit in it. Poison, aluminum, barium, strontium, every kind of metal you can imagine. We're all walking antennas now. It never stops. You think they'd give us one day one day off? Just, just one day without poison. Never happens. I don't even know if we get an hour without poison. Look at all the lines in the sky. You can clearly see these chemtrails. Trying to make them look more like clouds. And the morons, the morons just keep Keep breathing, don't look up. I'm putting my cards out. I've had to go over to the next town over uh, from where I live, uh, Green Lawn, to get away from the frequencies. My town uh, of Northport has got 5G frequencies, is inundated with 5G frequencies. I, I can't even live there. I can't even be there, much less live there. They put uh, these freaking antennas right outside my apartment building. Everybody's getting sick. I know they are. They won't tell you because they're cowards. But they are. They leave all their windows open in the apartments just to get a little bit of air and try to clear, clean out some of the frequencies. But you can't get away from them. So I have to, uh, I have to find some safety anywhere I can find it. And if I have to travel over to the next town over, that's what I do. This is the life I, the life you have to lead in uh, Nazi America now. Find a little refuge wherever you can find it. Once they get the whole damn uh, island wired with 5G, there ain't no running anywhere. Maybe that's what it's going to have to take before people get off their ass and do something. I don't know. I don't know how you cannot know about this, these chemtrails. How you cannot look up at least a few times in the, uh, the past 10, 15 years. They've been bombing us with this shit. Hell, I knew about chemtrails out in Colorado. We don't have anything. We didn't have anything like this up there in the mountains. The skies are blue up in Colorado. It doesn't mean they're 
chemtrails aren't there. The chemtrails are everywhere. It's just you just don't see them. Like you, you do here. Here, it's right in your face. Wait, in Denver you see them. All your major population centers, you see them. But, but in the remote places, like where I was at up in the mountains of Colorado, uh, you don't see them. You don't, you don't see them like this. But I knew, I knew the shit was still there. I knew my neighbors were, uh, were going, acting so fucking strange and crazy and doing weird shit. I couldn't figure out what it was. That's why I came out here to find out what was going on. Unfortunately, I found out. <laughs> uh, this shit is being uh, piped everywhere. Gets up in the jet stream, they can, they can uh, send it wherever they want with their nanotechnology and uh, frequencies from hell. I dread even going home now because of the frequencies in my town. another day in paradise. Airplanes don't do that, my friend. That's poison. Wake up. You're, you're being poisoned. Some people are just fucking morons, man. I tell you, the world is full of morons. Look, well, look at it. We got, we got them going everywhere here. We got them going here. We got them going here. Everywhere. There's a lot of retards in this world, <laughs> I've come to learn, when you're trying to expose this stuff, you find out just how retarded people are, how fucking stupid and moronic. God, it's almost like, here, right in your face, buddy. It was like a rainbow, a, chem a chemical rainbow for us. Here, t take that. Go film that, buddy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, they're, they like to play little, their little Nazi games with us. Well, we just keep filming it. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. Let's go over here. Got a good view from the side of the street. They're Satanists. But they like, and they really like to mind control and fuck with people that are like mentally disabled. Uh, people that are, don't quite have it all upstairs. And they love to mind control women, I know that. It's easier to control women. I know that for a fact. Their, their brains are just smaller. It's not anything, not that they're stupid. Although some of them probably are. <laughs> uh, but it's just that uh, biologically, they, got, they don't have the equipment that men have. So it's much easier 
to mind control. So they like to play their little games with uh, the handicapped, the people that are mentally handicapped, people who just, for some weird reason, just can't see what's right in front of their face. Probably never picked, haven't picked up a, a book, much less a, gone to a computer, the internet, anything, to Google this. It's just the whole sky. It's just one big fucking chemical nightmare. Oh well, sometimes they just like to like to put the shit right in your face. That's how Satanists operate. <laughs> like, uh, here, film this. Film this, buddy. And I do. I keep filming it. <laughs> I'll film it to the day I die. I'm passing out my cards. They love it when I uh, when I'm passing out my cards and waking people up. <laughs> they like to give me a surprise like that every now and then. Some people, I have to tell you, man, my experience, there's a lot of people that have mental, that are fucked up mentally. You don't realize it until you start talking to people. Get out and actually start talking to people and you find out, man, there's some fucked up people in this world. Never ending. And the morons could care less. That's what I call them morons. Even the ones that know could care less, it seems. It's like living in a science fiction horror movie come true. And this is a nice day. All the footage I put on here just today, I can feel the nano shit piercing, pulsing through my body. And my sinuses start to feel like shit. My brain, my eyes start bothering me. My throat, just being out here, walking around in this shit, ungodly shit. That shit, man. It's uh, almost 90 degrees today. That's when you start to see what they're really doing. Because normally, they keep it all hid in the uh, winter storms. All winter, we got nothing but fucking fake storms from hell, which are, which are even much worse than this, if you can believe that. 
because they just hide their uh, their chemicals in, in especially their frequencies. And you, you can just feel the, the frequency attacks like, like I can't even begin to explain to you how bad they are now in the winter. Used to be you would get a little bit of break from the frequencies in the chemtrails in the winter because their shit didn't used to work that, that well in the winter because it needs to ionize. That's why they're spraying and spraying and spraying. It ionizes once it's in the heat. And it creates this great nanoparticulate shit for us all to breathe in. In the wintertime, they deliver it via these storms, these fake storms. And believe it or not, it's even more horrific because the shit just soaks right into your body in these, uh, these storms because of the moisture and the rain. We didn't we didn't see sunshine maybe maybe one or two days the entire winter. Nothing but fake storms full of nothing but chemicals from hell. And now that it's warming up, they can put the shit right out there. And they like to spray at dusk a lot. Sunset and dusk. People don't seem to notice as much. Because it'll be dark, it'll start getting dark here soon. So uh, they like to really dump on us during those times. They've been dumping on us all day. I've been filming it. You know, when it starts to cool off in the evening, you have to have hot, start to have a, you have a hot, warm day. You like to sit outside, just to enjoy a, a cold one, or just sit outside and enjoy the, the cool air after a hot day. And they know that. They know that. They know people are outside in their backyards, being with their families, doing the things that people do. That's when they like to implant you. That's when they like to implant you. But the people don't care. People don't care. I don't know what uh, other parts of the country look like. I just know what New York and Long Island look like. And they look like pure hell. I took a trip down to D.C. and it was horrible. It was like this, almost the entire trip all the way down there. Until I got to D.C. and it kind of cleared up a little bit. It wasn't quite as bad. But as soon as you got out of D.C., watch out. It just fucking turned into a nightmare. You know, they, they can't totally poison their, their representatives. They can't have their representatives see this shit 724 like we do. They can't poison them 724 like they do us. But there was plenty of poison there, that's for sure. <laughs> All our representatives are, are, are mind controlled. Everyone has been implanted with this technology. It's transhumanism, it's artificial intelligence, it's mind control. Especially our politicians, our leaders, the Supreme Court. <laughs> there's more, more uh, c cell phone towers, there's more frequency towers and shit around the White House. And uh, 
the state capital than you can possibly imagine. Everything that lives is now being mind controlled by this technology. And these are, look at these, these are, these are super tankers dump, dumping their shit right here. Damn, picked a good time to be out here. First really hot day we've had. I mean, they, they spray us nonstop. I, mean, I just put up two videos. You could see nonstop spraying. But when it gets hot, that's when the, uh, that's when they come out like right in your face because the shit ionizes in the hot temperatures and they need that to happen to, to go into your brain and into your body and I'm not kidding you I want to I want to get in a strong detox program but it's almost like <laughs> what's the sense they spray a 724 the minute you detox a little bit of their shit out they fill it right back up I don't know all I know is I can't live around this 5G I can't be around it because this shit gets in your body and it, and then there's uh, those 5G antennas it's a uh, military grade uh, it's like it's riot, riot and police control frequencies that they're emitting I mean, the, the, the frequencies are so intense and so painful, I can't even tell you. They make, they make you run to the bathroom every 15 minutes. That's what this 5G technology can do. They load you up with nanotechnology, turn you into a fucking antenna, and then they can mind control you, torture you, turn any kind of fucking technology on you they want. 5G. 10G, a million G, whatever the fuck they got planned for is next. Your body is a perfect receptacle. Antenna, you're a walking antenna. Now because of the shit that they're putting in your body. If you don't believe that, you better do your fucking homework. And you better start caring. And you better stop this shit now. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to lead to. They're dumping uh, uh, chemicals in Syria, white phosphorus chemicals on the people there. People have been putting it on my Facebook group, and I said they've been they've been dumping dumping chemicals on us for over 15 years now, probably longer. This shit goes back to even Woodstock when they started it during the Vietnam War, is when they really started. And they just spray and spray and spray. You can see the frequencies going through there. More poison. Everywhere you look, poison. First, first weekend of warm weather. And it's, it's dump time on all the people outside enjoying the, the warm weather. I mean, they've been getting dumped on all winter long with the, uh, the fake storms. But summertime brings uh, unique satanic activity. Unique poison. It's prime time in planting. People are outside, bare skin, at the beach, the ocean, the parks, doing what New Yorkers do, doing what everybody does, getting outside. They've been stuck in the house all winter long because of the, sh the fake storms from hell. I mean, it's been the worst winter. The sports sportscasters are so sick of the rain and we haven't had been able to have any baseball games nothing all all spring because of the insane insane weather these people have given us our our gods our our weather gods just solid chemicals solid nano
technology being implanted in the people, in the unknowing and moronic people. That's what I call them. You got to know that that is not a cloud. You don't need a PhD, you don't need a degree in meteorology. If you were born any time this century, you should remember what a real cloud looks like. And they don't look like this shit. Our skies, a real sky, doesn't look like this shit. This looks like chemical shit, which is what it is. It's uh June 11th, 2017, here on Long Island. Enjoy your hell. You deserve it. If you're not doing anything to stop it, you deserve it. I'm done pulling punches with people. If you aren't part of the solution, then you're part of the problem. That's my opinion. If you aren't doing anything, you are definitely part of the problem. If you're not doing anything to stop this terror. This is terror. The people are being terrorized and they don't know why they're getting sick. They don't know why their weird activities going on. Anybody with a brain, most people with a brain know something is not right. Get off your ass and do something, that's all I can say.